Hello, hello, hello. Happy January 8th, 2022. My name is Laura. We are going to look at today a website where you can learn lots of free technical skills. And we're I'm showing you this because of the celebration of the James Webb Telescope today they had a milestone of, of opening all of the mirrors and now they're going to the next step so if you want to learn more about James Webb Telescope I will put a link to it down below <clears throat> so one of the things that they did talk about is the fact that one of the programming languages that they use is C++. So if you want to learn about C++, this is one way to get started. I want to introduce you to W3Schools.com. And this website has been around for decades. They have paid courses. You can create an account, log in, and get your own website with W3 School Spaces. So they have another program right here. And videos. Look at this. So what they have, let's take a look at this tutorial. So they have all of your HTML and CSS tutorials including SAS, which is on a lot of... SAS is on many job descriptions and even customer service ones. So if you want, if you're interested in a customer service job, learn more about SAS, which is related to cloud computing, software as a service. So make sure you learn more about SAS. JavaScript. A lot of this is used on websites right now and has become popular. I want to say, as an older person who has been around the web now for since before the web exists, so the entire time I, uh, the web has been ex in existence for the public, I have been on it. And I want to say something about JavaScript and try to be objective. If you use JavaScript, please think about people who are maybe vision impaired or it may be vision ta challenging. A lot of the a lot of the text is very tiny, especially as the resolutions are a lot more, uh, are higher, the higher the resolution, the more tiny the, <laughs> the text, the font, it seems. So think about that in um, utilizing the space on the screen a little bit more. But we can go into that another time. I just wanted to make that note. There's programming languages. These are the most popular at this time. Um, and there are some not listed. This is C++. Just want to quickly take a look at these. This is database information design. Um, well, it's database here, MySQL, PHP. So these are really important to learn as well. Uh, let's see, web building. Lots of stuff here. I mean, there's so much here. Even if you if you don't know what you want to do and you think you want to learn something, go in here and learn more about that topic to see if you think it is something for you. Because a lot of times there's this, you know, image of, oh, this is so easy or, oh, you're going to make a lot of money doing this. But you got to understand that all of this, in, I mean, this entire section here, everything here takes a lot of time, a lot of focus. Uh, you have to sacrifice all of that 
and more to really sit down and learn it. So, if you practice any of this stuff, you'll find out, oh, I like this or I don't like that. And you'll find out if, it, if any one of these sections would be something that you'd like to pursue. So use all of this as a way to test yourself to find out more about what you want to do and what would be interesting to you. What feels comfortable to you? Up here, you know, there might be more analytical skills that you need. There might be more um, like JavaScript. There's Some of these are easier than others. Uh, programming languages, some are easier than others. Or you might be, care about how a website looks. You know, you, maybe you don't want to do the programming underneath it, but you want to do web templates and just care about the outside what the user sees on the page and how it's how it looks to the person who's going to be looking at the website or you might be interested in data analysis and the scientific backgrounds uh, that relate to lots of data that, <laughs> that are on websites and that websites use nowadays and you might be interested in XML down through here so there's so many sections to uh you know go through and to learn more about yourself in any of these areas and pay attention to the information in it to find out if it's something you really would be interested in learning more about it's a great place to start now i want to look at c plus plus real quick c plus plus there we go this is a higher level language. It, it, it needs a what's called a compiler. And when you compile a higher level language, it goes from what's readable to the human to which is the programmer. The compiler puts it in a, an interactive middle code, you know, that has to be compiled or inter what do you call it? Um, that will be changed into binary code. So this helps to, to move it in that direction towards binary code to where it can be used, you know, where you can run the program. Um, I went to college and learned a lot about different programs. See, I did C, not C++. C++ is an object-oriented program. I worked in C instead of C++. So if I want to learn more about C++, then I would need to go through maybe one of these programs for now. Now you can click the next button. And as you can see, it'll go down like that. And they have these ads on here to help pay for the. And I'm not even, listen, I'm not even logged in. Look at this. I'm not logged in. So that's one thing about W3 schools is you can learn something right here. Go through all of these steps and learn all of this information without logging in. See? And that's quite a bit. Oh, this is a free program, Coblox. That's another one. But you can learn all of this stuff without even logging in. You can type in here as well, just so you know. I thought you could. Try it yourself. Ah, there you go. See? This is where you type. So if I go in here and I say... Hey! What's up? And then we're going to do another one. Oops. And then day it was Stephen Hawking's. 80th birthday.
and I do want it to, I think you go, I don't know, we'll see what it does, I can't remember, new line, he didn't like that, it didn't like that, I have to look up what new line is, yeah, See, it didn't, it didn't, um, yeah, see, I put those spaces there. So, I mean, I just have to look up what new line is, and it'll do that. Anyways, there you go. You can practice over here, write code, it'll come up over here, and you don't even have to be logged in. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Uh, that is an extra tab, too. See? So I can go back to where I was. Instead of losing where I was, it goes into a new tab. Fantastic. Syntax. I, I can read it. I already got rid of it. Okay. But this is really cool. And then there's other sections. Oh, there's new line. <laughs> Mm, where's my new line? In one. Oh, is that it? Okay. Insert a new line is with N1. Okay. What is it up here? Oh, and see, I knew it was slash N. It said, oh, it has to be inside this. See, I had the right thing, but I have to put it in there. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, see? I had it right, but I forgot I put it in there. So if you want to learn C Sharp, there's one way to get started. And if you learn all of this, if you practice all of this and you learn all of this, then you get to understand what other subjects that might help you do something closer to what they did today that relates to science. And that would be more in the math and physics area. So if you're into C++ and you learn more about math and physics, um, you can get closer to being involved with that type of project. They involve people all over the world on all kinds of levels. Never say never. You don't know. You might be someone that could really be a part of NASA. Woo, wouldn't that be cool? I think it would be cool. <laughs> All right. So there you go. A little introduction to W3 tool, W3 schools, rather, dot com. Check it out and see if you think it might be something that you'd like to learn more about in there. Um, they have references here they have exercises quizzes courses certificates i mean there's so much in here videos so video course 9.99 so they have little courses um i'm going to check more about them um very soon because i just been doing other things and i just remembered this since when after i watched the James Webb today. I'm like, oh, go to W3 schools and do all of those lessons and get back in the swing of things. Why not? All right. So have a great day, great evening, morning, whatever it is in your day right now. Be safe. Please hit the subscribe button if you think this is helpful and hit the like icon the little thumbs up icon if you would like to be supportive of the channel thank you so much and we'll talk to you later thank you bye